how you doing today? I'm your host, Rich, here on behalf of Rich TV Live, and I'm here with my very special guest, Luis Zapata, the CEO of Oro X Mining Corp. How are you doing today, Luis? Good. How are you? Thank you for having us. Hey, my pleasure. Glad to have you on the show. I'm doing very well, and I'm excited about learning more about your company. And maybe we can start off with you telling us a little bit about yourself and your connection to Peru. Sure. Well, I was born in Peru. I left uh, to Canada when I was eight, did my education there, uh, started a career in mining finance right out of college, uh, became head of Canaccord's Latin business in Canaccord in, in, sorry, in 2010. Wow. Uh, then in 2013, I moved back to Peru and basically have been financing mining projects my whole career. That's fantastic. How did you get involved with Oro X? Orex came about because my business partner, Paul Matizic, and I, we'd known each other through business circles for quite a few years. And, you know, we both live in Peru, either full-time or part-time. So we thought about, you know, doing a deal in Peru, these assets we had our eyes on for a couple of years. And when they became available, we jumped at the chance to get them. That's huge. Now, it's important to have a team with a track record of success. You guys have built and put together a very impressive team. Can you tell us a little bit about your team and what makes the key members so successful? Sure. Well, you know, we're, we're a small team, but we're very, you know, have a good track record. So uh, Paul Matisic obviously is a well-known mining entrepreneur. Uh, the company is called OroX because it's a continuation of the X brand. He took Lithium X from inception to buy out, you know, a few years ago. He's currently the CEO of GoldX with a, you know, multi-hundred million dollar market cap and a couple of big wins before that. Uh, so Paul's obviously an important part of the team. Daryl Cardi is also on our board. He's been involved with companies like Underworld, which got taken out, um, K92, The Shell, things like that. So, you know, we have a strong team, both in, in, in Vancouver and here in Peru. Now, you mentioned Paul, and he is a lead advisor. He seems to have the yeah. Midas touch. How involved is he with the day-to-day? Uh, quite involved. You know, we speak every day. He's, he's here in Peru. As we review projects, we always look at them together. Um, You know, we have a technical team that's very strong and that looks at them technically. And then Paul and I look at them from, you know, growth potential and and M&A and how will the market react? Can we finance this? Can we make this go forward? So very involved. Fantastic. Now, one of your flagship gold projects is the Corico project. What do investors need to know about this project? Yeah, Corico is an interesting project. You know, it's a 2000 hectare project that's 17 known outcropping veins which all lie on top of a dome, which basically juts out from the ground. Uh, we were attracted to the project because it has previous, you know, artisanal scale production, although it wasn't really that small. It was 10,000 tons over two years. Uh, we looked at the grades that came out of that. They were sent to a toll mill that we were familiar with. Uh, so we just thought, look, here's 10,000 tons that have been pulled out at seven to, 12, seven to 12 grams per ton. Out of two veins, there's 13 veins. We think there's more veins under cover to the east and northeast under younger geology. So we ran the project by a couple of technical partners and, you know, we think it's a tier one high grade gold exploration target. Wow. Yeah. Tier one. That's impressive. What are your plans for the project in 2021, Luis? Right now we just announced the start of our 2021 campaign. So we're heading up there and actually these days, uh, right now we're shooting 3D AP over the property. Uh, that's going to do two things. It's going to basically delineate drill targets over the known current veins and number two, it's going to hopefully delineate uh, younger, sorry, other veins under younger geology cover, right? So give us a real sense of the project and its potential. We're also doing some mapping, sampling, and trenching uh, as we prepare for our maiden drill campaign, uh, hopefully this year. Now, when you're working in international markets, building relationships with the locals in the community is vital. How is your relationship with the locals in the community? hundred percent. So look, when we took over the project, um, you know, the project's been around for 10 years plus, you know, the community relationship between the previous operator and the project was quite bad. Uh, the first thing we did when we signed the deal in September is we sent our own team up there, a team of Peruvians, uh, myself included. We made touch contact with the community. You know, we, we dialogued over three months and, you know, we recently announced a six year uh, expiration access agreement over the Corioco property over one of the main surface concessions. Uh, that will allow us to work, you know, without impediment for the next six years. It's sort of a, a milestone moment for the project because, you know, this is a project that never had a community agreement before. So we're happy we did it the Peruvian way. We did it for, I think, a fair price and everybody comes up winning. So that's always a good deal. 
Very good. Now, it's vital for us in our community, and we've got investors all over the world, I believe in about 100 countries watching our show, to have a tight share structure. Can you break down the share structure of the company and how much is being held by insiders and institutions? Yeah, we have around 35 million shares out right now at the moment. Wow. Uh, I would I would say 25% is held by insiders, another 10% by institutions. Um, you know, the bulk of that's obviously Paul, myself, and our associates. So, you know, we're tightly held. We, we have cash to do what we need to do. And obviously, being a tightly held company with a good brand, we're always on the lookout for M&A targets. So that's currently going on as well. I love your share structure. Anything under 50 million shares to me is like screaming by. So 35 million shares is perfect. I love that. Our, our community is going to love that. If there was one thing you would want investors that are watching this video to know about Oro X Mining, what would it be? Look, I think when I was investing in mining companies, I always looked at the team first. So I think we have a proven team. I think we have a great tier one exploration asset. And I think we have a share structure and access to capital that will allow us to pick up, you know, exciting projects as we see them coming up. And obviously being in Peru, we see a lot of things, especially lately. So that's what we're, our focus is right now. Now, there's going to be shareholders that are going to want to contact the company, potentially joint venture partners, LOIs, all kinds of different companies that are going to see this as well in this sector. What is the best way for those individuals to get in contact with you or the company if they're interested in investing or doing business with you? Sure. Uh, our website is probably the best place to go, www.orxmining.com. All our contact channels are there. Uh, I look at all of them from our email inbox to our social media, you know, Instagram, LinkedIn, et cetera. So any channel you reach us through, I'll probably see it and uh, happy to respond. That's fantastic. Well, really excited to learn more about this company. We're going to be watching it very closely. Everyone that's watching, remember Rich TV Live is strictly for education and entertainment purposes. Always consult a financial advisor before you make any investments in anything we talk about here at Rich TV Live. If you like the video, please smash the like button. Comment down below, share the video everywhere, and subscribe for future updates. Lewis, thank you for joining us. I'd love to invite you back anytime you have any big news or anything you'd like to discuss. Love to invite you back to our community to talk about Oro X Mining. Congratulations on all your success so far, and our entire community will be watching very, very closely. Thank you. Appreciate it. Thank you for watching. If you're not winning, you're not watching. Thank you, Lewis, for joining us. And for those of you that are watching, Thank you for joining us. Thank you for watching. Put Oro X Mining on your watch list. Put it on your radar. I think it's undervalued, underappreciated, underexposed, and has a great future. Thanks to great leadership with gentlemen like Lewis at the helm. Thank you, Lewis, for joining us. Thank you for watching. This is Rich from Rich TV Live saying, have a nice day, everybody. We'll see you soon.